Okay, here we are. This is the 2022 Urban Armalite uh, stock model uh, as per the website. Uh, so all your standard inclusions on the website, on uh, Urban's website, is exactly the same as this one right here. Obviously it comes with the uh, two lithium batteries, the uh, dual compressor fridges, one outside just in there, which I'll show you, and then one inside as well. So we'll start at the A-frame. Of course you get the stone guard there. Got the DO35 uh, off-road coupling. And then your toolbox there as well, so recessed gas bottles in there to keep them protected. And then on that side there, you've got your uh, generator uh, slide, which is designed to fit a Honda 2. And also a, a Yamaha will fit in there as well, and maybe some generic ones, but it's specifically designed to fit a Honda 2. Lightweight, you know, low on fuel, uh, less noise, so they're, they're definitely the unit to use. So this has also got the hatches down the side. Obviously this has got the hatch behind the... Um, the fridge you can see in there so plenty of storage there and then in this one here that's where your bm pro setup is in there and then you got your odyssey link your bluetooth connection there's also a switch down there for your uh, positive air fan as well and we also often put um inverters in here aftermarket if people want just a single power point to you know run a coffee machine or whatever so we can sometimes put it down there if it's only a little one or we'll put it here and we can get a PowerPoint fed inside if you want that as well. So that's an option. Obviously this is a uh, the Armalite, which has got very similar to how they do the X-Terrain. So this has got the three uh, tanks in it. It's got the dedicated drinking tank uh, with the two, with the single filler there for the dedicated and then the two main tanks there. Also comes with a outside shower. And then you've got a light there too for outside. Uh, if you've got the shower set up out here, and that's your toilet hatch down there at the back. Obviously, this one's got the truss chassis, and then you've got your grey water tank valve there as well, uh, your outlet. And this one does come fitted with the newer uh, Cruise Master twin shock suspension. We'll jump underneath and have a look at that. When I get around this side, obviously, that little hatch there, that's your hot water service, so gas electric hot water. Now, this, of course, has also got the bags. So you can see at the top there, it's got the airbag lifters. So I lift the roof up and then also got your floodlights uh, side, front, all the way around. And just so those, those that know, if you get an armor light and we give you one of these couplings guys with your van, it comes with the, with the coupling. When you turn up to the dealer, they'll quite happily fit it. Um, obviously, do your best to try and take off uh, the, the ball before you arrive at the dealership. A lot of the times here, you know, we, we come across some cars that have probably never had the tow ball taken off in say five to ten years and that can be an absolute nightmare on the day so make it easy and as less stressful as you can uh, for your dealership when you pick up your van um, we can we can quite happily fit that coupling for you um, if you get it removed a lot of the times you're better off buying a new shank if your shank's looking a bit rusty and and worn out it's probably not a bad thing to upgrade for a hundred bucks to, to be towing a hundred thousand dollar van around it's not a bad idea so yeah as i mentioned this has now got the, the my coolman fridge in it like so, so full slide out on that. It's a massive fridge. If you needed more fridge than this uh, for two people, I tell you, something's going wrong. You can actually open up both sides. I'm just being a little bit useless here. So yeah, lots of storage in there. It's even got USB on it. You can charge your damn phone. I tell you, we make life very easy for you caravanners these days. So you can actually plug them into 242, by the way, guys. So if you take it home, you can use it as a bar fridge at Christmas or whatever. That's your slide-out kitchen. So that pulls out. Now your water connections are underneath. It's as simple as connecting it up. Normally with a, a washing machine uh, hose lines, that's predominantly what we use for it. You can get some coated ones. I normally find the washing machine ones, the rubber ones, are probably going to be more durable than the... And the, the you know the gal sort of coating they put on those things so i'd normally recommend just going with the rubber ones that's your bleeder there see in the corner that bleeds the air out of your roof and also turns the the pump on and push the roof up as well i'll show you underneath there where the water lines are you see the taps just up there so yeah you just connect them onto the end bits on there and plumb your kitchen in there's your gas bayonet to hook your uh, barbie or your outside um cooker up that i just showed you in there Obviously with Armalite too, it does come with a proper full pop-top awning. So if you want to put a uh, annex on this down the track, you can do that as well. And this one, 
uh, has got one option on it. I was wrong. There you go. So this has got the uh, firebox fitted to the rear or do whatever you want with it. Keep all your massive barramundi in there that you catch. I don't know. But, you know, a good option to store anything. Hoses, leads, you know, stray cats, that sort of stuff. So <laughs> reverse camera on the back. Um, and this has got the dual tail lights as well. So if you do ever put anything else on the rear here, a box or whatever, you've actually got the lights up the top there as well. So moving underneath, as I said, this one does have the, the Cruise Master XT fitted to it. So you can't get a bigger bigger name in the biz than Cruise Master fitted under there. This thing we would normally fit to an 18 foot single axle guys. So sitting on a little armor light, that's gonna take you anywhere you wanna go. Obviously you can see the checker plate armor under there as well. It's protecting all the tanks and the pipework and the cables too. All right, let's jump in and have a look. Okay. So yeah, she is a stocky. So this one, 99990 is its uh, retail price. I think it is on special at the moment because I got two of these. So one of these can go as soon as one goes. Um, I'll have to keep the other one. You get think I get where you, you get where I'm going with this. So queen bed up there, you've got little flip up sides next to the bed. So those little thingies without me climbing and messing the bed spread up, you can flip them up and put storage in there. Um, obviously you get little cupboards around the top too. You get these little nooks down the bottom, which a lot of people just go to Kmart or something like that. Just get those little drop in, you know, plastic sort of containers to put whatever knickknacks you want in there. 12 volt there and USB. And then you've got Sirocco fans on each side as well. As I mentioned, this has got the Odyssey link in it, so it's got all your all your deets on there. So you slide that up from the bottom, like so. And it gives you a remaining time. Being pretty overcast here in Adelaide. So what have we got? 7.2 amps going in, and we've got a load of 15.5. So we're in a discharge state. 8.2, uh, we're pulling out of the battery. And so I was saying we've got almost 19 hours at the current stage. So a good test to go, you guys. Have a play with this, yeah? Like, I'll do a bit of an educational video while we're here on this. So when you slide that up, yeah, you can see your solar. Obviously, it's only putting in 6.6 .6 and you've got a load of 15. So during the day, do your best to try and make this go into a charging state, yeah? So turn these off. Turn these banks of lights off. It's during the day. You don't need that. And then watch keep watch the screen yeah so straight away let's have a look as that's turned some floodlights off i think one outside so we're still at 6.6 .6. takes a while to to catch up guys so give it a bit of time and bingo look at that so we're a 6.4 charge we've only got a load of 6.1 we're putting in 0.4 of an amp but you know putting in 0.4 of an amp is better than putting in no amps and it just takes going around. I'm going to keep flicking a few switches off. And during the day, you don't need to do that. And straight away, you should see, you know, this this change. It'll it'll change right in front of your eyes. It's very easy to monitor. Let's have a look. Load should drop even more. Are we still at 5.9? I've turned off a few switches to the left of me here. Give it time. Give it time. Give it time. There we go. So yeah, now we've dropped to a load of only 1.6. We've got a solar endpoint of 4.6. This is very easy to work out in maths. I'm not even very good at maths. So we're charging at three amps. That's not bad, guys. That's pretty good. 13.5 volts in the battery. Happy days, yeah? It still doesn't mean you can't run your radio. Just monitor it. Look after it. It'll uh, look after you. You just got to um, just keep your eye on it. That's all. Just don't leave all the lights on during the day. You don't have to. Open these beautiful vents. Let the sun shine in, yeah? All right, now back to this man. Obviously, you've got dual seats on each side. And this table now comes with a little drop-down flap, which is good. So it can swing around. It does come with a telly. There she is sitting there. And there's the ducts down the bottom there for your air conditioner, as well as the remote receiver there for the AC to turn on and off. And the Sirocco fan on this side as well. So, yeah, you do get a little bit of storage in each of these. Good for sunscreen. Little things, guys, just to... You know, it's always good to have storage everywhere. We, we have recessed these. Obviously, the earlier model, these used to sit out a lot further. Um, but we had a lot of people complaining and hitting their heads. So we had to recess them back a bit to make it, you know, we don't want to knock people out sitting down. I'll try and pan around here. Not a heck of a lot of room. 
uh, you'll see all the connections there for your tally that's your booster um, and then just a power point and then the stereo output well that's that little rca plug there and there's your tv bracket there g there 240 volt there and then of course right here you've got your shower and toilet combo with that little vanity there and a little cupboard at the top too to put your knickknacks in so panning around we've got the compressor the little victor frigo um, compressor fridge handy for just like guys you you know your milk your butter your cheese you don't want to leave out in your drinks fridge you know and you got a little freezer in there too these things are very efficient so won't use much power at all you got the little three burner there plenty to cook your eggs there's your filtered water which runs off that separate pump and then your others are linked into the tank and you got a little storage there and there should be a drawer there that's normally used for your cutlery more cupboards down the end here as well so yeah as i mentioned this one can go i'm actually shooting this video for a gentleman who's interested uh where is he from oh, i've gone blank um i oh, know he's from queensland as well so we've just sent another one up there too so yeah these little toggle switches guys these are the switches to operate your floodlights outside so turn on on the left and then toggle these back and forth to flick between your orange and your white depending on your model of course as well so yeah, Urban Armalite in stock, ready to go, pick it up. I'll have it, I can have it ready within two weeks. Two weeks from when you see this video, roughly, it's just getting it into the workshop, do all the checks, make sure the pumps work, all that sort of stuff, and she can be good to go. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Like, share, subscribe.